one. Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape related stuff with RuneScape related content creators. I am Mint Mad Cow. <laughs> Hello, it's I, didn't, I, I didn't hear no followed by. You could have at least, you know, held or paved hey, the way. Word of warning, me. we haven't done this in like a, like two months. So uh, yeah, we're a little scuffed. But hey, uh, we got our boy uh, Verf as oh. our guest. He's basically our fourth, you know, <laughs> podcast dude at this point. He's been here so many times. But yeah, yeah man, love I'll, to have you, I'll man. Leave it to you. I'll leave you the rest. Yeah, so uh, we got Verf here. We got Rakesy over here not introducing himself properly. Okay, you know, dude. In hindsight, before we started, I did say, I'm just going to say I'm in Mad Cow, and then we'll follow. All right? You didn't, you didn't, I, you said and follow. Yeah, so I was like, where's the followed by? All right, All right that, next that, time. That, 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 anything holds you to a pedestal, man, because it means we're your followers. Okay, you should have at least said that. Make I'm, down. I'm down. Okay, we'll get a better next time. But yeah, we've been <laughs> gone for a couple months. Yeah, a, a chunk of a year since Trailblazer started in 2020. Uh, we haven't had time to really come together and talk about RuneScape updates. So we thought we'd cover everything starting with Trailblazers. Um, I thought it'd be cool if we all go around and say one nice or bad thing about Trailblazers, man. Um, for me. It was pretty good. Yeah, we all recall was a little strong, but it's pretty good, man. Right? So you, what do you, yeah. you think, man? I really liked. I enjoyed Trial Blazers. I because you know I was reluctant to play it because I don't know. I just Iron Man. So, but huh. it was good. I I did enjoy it. The only reason I stopped playing was because I got to the point where I was just grinding TOB, and I was like, why am I grinding TOB on a game that's going to be gone in a month when I can right. just do this on my main account? That that was literally the only reason I stopped playing. But yeah, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. Yo, yeah, Ryan, what, what about you, uh, man? You played okay, the whole thing. Um, so this Trailblazer had more variety, uh, undoubtedly. There was just way more bossing. I had like 10 plus bosses to do, so that was pretty fun because then you get to mess with all these different styles you know, of PVM that you never use. Like, I was using Dark Bows, man. Dark bows and like door crossbow and stuff, fighting these bosses, and crystal bow. Like, damn, dude, I love. Yeah, that. You had a really cool so, build. It was cool. It was really there. cool, but there were some downsides. <clears throat> I felt like the game progression was a little fast, too fast. I noticed people stopped playing a bit earlier than Twisted Lee, even though Twisted Lee had less content. And I think really? that's just due to the multiplier. Maybe. Uh, you know, because like, yeah, I think mm. I think it was like, Twisted Lee was fast, but Trailblazer League was like. You were on steroids. You were on like nitro or some <laughs> shit. It was crazy, dude. I, I was lo- like, I max. I even maxed in that game mode. I didn't. Wasn't even yeah, close. Who, to who else max? Verf, did you max? No. That was crazy. Um, Rexy and Verf. Verf has Rexy a life definitely didn't max. Yeah, okay. no, absolutely not. But like, <laughs> but, I, dude, it was that fast that I was actually willing to max. So, but yeah, that was my only critique. My, uh... Is progressions was honestly kind of too rapid. Like, and and it seemed like people kind of got bored because they reached everything so fast. Yeah. But oh, I, I will. If I can add on, I think um, that that was one thing that I noticed because I never played the first one, but I noticed that the start's quite slow. But like, as soon as you get that snowball getting momentum, it just avalanches. Yeah. It's like it, it, as soon as you get to a certain point, you unlock that relic. I can't remember which one it is, but like. The XP comes in and you just it just goes so fast. I think like it goes from quite difficult and tedious to just an average. I think you're thinking of uh, last recall probably that that accelerated the game mm. on top well, of the XP rates like crazy. Well, Verf, how do you how do you like your experience, buddy? Um, it was my first time playing League, so it was pretty interesting. I like the competitive aspect. I really felt that the first one or two weeks, I think, uh, there was a lot of variety which I liked. And I also used it to practice the Inferno a lot, which is also really nice. Could the only practice. downside was that um, it was just so fast. And the PVMing too, with last recall, I was yeah, done in like two weeks. Fast. I was done in two weeks. <laughs> so <laughs> It was weird seeing you outside of Karumja. I, I think I saw you at Rock Crabs training. I'm like, this man is <laughs> way ahead of me. Oh my God, did he not <laughs> fucking whip or something two days in i think you took the plus 10 relic too for all the stat boosts yeah the yeah. content creator yeah. relic <laughs> yeah. yeah the solo yeah. mission relic right there dude, yeah, dude. Did solo i wrote relic? like um i wrote like a notepad the day before for like the first one or two days i think and i just followed that and i i speed run through that stuff that was so fun 
like the progress was just so fast it's fast as hell man yeah, uh before we get insane. more into trailblazers as well if you guys want the podcast to come back right with kind of creators and runescape updates um i mean there's a lot to expect in 2021 let us know drop some likes racy what should what, what should we make a like goal you're the king of that, right? What do you what do you think? Ten, ten thousand humble. Ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. A mere ten thousand. I don't know. Uh we've not done a podcast in a, let's yeah. let, let's go. We with do a, apologize a 200, for two hundred likes, man. Two hundred would be girthy. Yeah, I think that, I think that I think that's reasonable. That's the number I had in mind. Yeah, two hundred. Two hundred be fantastic, man. Yeah, it's so yeah. If we nice, had two hundred likes, you know? or even if we hit any likes, really, even I mean, if we got like. Ten likes, dude. Like, oh. yeah, I'd be happy with ten likes. Man. Good man. Uh, I asked my man. mom. You know, some uh. family members come drop a like on the video. We'll hit ten. Uh, <laughs> also, if you want to help us um, in terms of you know giving us more uh, things to discuss for more consistent videos, because you know sometimes nothing goes on on RuneScape, and sometimes we don't have always things to talk about. So if you guys have cool suggestions on the YouTube side, yep. Leave some suggestions for us to discuss, like what things, what are some cool things that yep. we might have missed. You, what do you want yeah, to happen in 2021? We were talking a while back about doing an anime podcast where we talk about our uh, favorite I mean, I mean, you know, which would be a fantastic but... episode. <laughs> yeah, could yeah, it could be not an anime too, podcast, but, yeah. and we could do a space podcast V2, okay? <laughs> me and Rakesy enjoy we space. If we're in the groove. <clears throat> and then me, Rakesy, and Rice Cup all enjoy anime, but Rice Cup's a little more like a... A hardcore, you got to read the manga. Oh, doesn't yeah, like hentai yeah, kind of. Yeah. No, 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 like, not, not that. Bro. Army, no, no. haircut it's, kind of dude stick, over stick here. Stick away from that. I was working in Rice Cup stream the other day, and he no was tainted. watching a video of a guy making a knife out of fucking boxers. Okay, it wasn't my idea, all right? It was a viewer's idea. Rice is hardcore. It was a viewer's idea, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. let's get... But that'd be awesome. Let's, let's get back to the Trailblazers. Um... So for the first couple of weeks, I was playing like 13, 15 hour days, playing off sleep and showers, have mobile up all the time. And I was giving a lot of flack to Jagex because I thought that the teleport relics were unbalanced, right? Recalls insane. And I definitely want to get into that. But I, I just have to say now that I'm, I've, I've taken some time off and I'm chilling and I'm not grinding every day and I'm not getting sweaty. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, it yeah. was decently yeah. balanced obviously builds had everything to do with getting rank one right if you didn't follow the build down to the t and put all this time and you're not gonna get rank one but it was it was great and i expect to see a lot of good things for the next one they do and yeah. uh you know other than that recall was dumb um not dumb but it was definitely mm, too much insane <laughs> yeah yeah you know the <laughs> It was it was definitely a little more fast paced than it should have been too. It made a lot of those grinds way smaller, and those big grinds that are RNG inducive, they still took a while, right? So hopefully they'll get the balancing down on that in the future. And I I don't think two months. I think two months is way too long. It could um, be, one honestly, month, honestly, six perfect. weeks. I prefer six weeks. Yeah, six yeah. weeks. Yeah. Two months, man. I swear, the last two weeks I wanted to die. <laughs> I wanted to literally die. Well, I finished on week eight, eight and a half. Or something. So eight and a half. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Anyways, I gave I gave I gave this league a eight point five out of ten. It was pretty good. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good score. Eight point five. Man. There's some things they can perfect, but overall, Jagex wise, good. Good job. you know, and they did a good job. They did a great no, job. They should they be fantastic. proud of this yeah. one, man, for sure. The sequel was actually good, which where good. most sequels are pretty trash. You know, so. <laughs> So, True. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Yeah, they did do a good job, man. I I think like there was just a clear sign of passion for what they were working on. You know, it, it's like everything, like even from the interfaces they made for a temporary game mode, like you could tell the people working on it were really passionate about what oh, they. Were every doing. time I got a task or a point, and I saw a little box the pop up, man. Oh, dude. oh, I love it. They need to add that to real <laughs> Rune's game. I want some of that going on right <laughs> the now. The dopamine. Man. I, I remember we me and me and Mint we actually Verf was there Verf you were there for uh, Evscape's tournament thing right the week, yes, sir. No, solo mission solo missions tournament <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Games, right yes, sir. and like I logged in and I got like 250 points for logging <laughs> in and I was like that's a good sign the game mode is dying it's like when you get rewarded for logging into a game it's over that was, I, I think they gave that to all adamant tears so. 
<laughs> it, it was to a, a comedy for some sort of like glitch where some people got free points for no yeah. reason, and then so they true. had to give it to everybody else or something. Yeah. Ah, Any, anyways, should we uh, move on to the big meat? Yeah, we just wanted to cover Trailblazers yeah. for a bit since we were gone for two yeah. mm-hmm. plus months. So that's where let's we've been. That's where we've been grinding, we were, enjoying. We were Trailblazers on the is now ticked off. All right, yeah. should we talk about the um, ultimate yeah. recent game going to Steam? Well, actually, actually, no. We're we're gonna we'll do cover that, that stuff later. We're gonna yeah, go into um, the um, <clears throat> the new armor changes that are proposed because that just happened. That is the newest news, the and uh, I believe we're following Rice Cup on here, man. He is the messiah. Yeah. So <laughs> I, you know, I went I went deep. You know, I went deep dive on this one with the boys on on the streams. Uh, talk for like two hours on it. But anyways, uh, just just a quick note. We're gonna talk about some of the other stuff we missed probably after this if we make it like fishing boss steam um you know 2021 roadmap and a few other things if we make it there we will we'll cover those at the end really briefly but for now we're getting to the meat of this uh hopefully i got this uh to work here let me see if my browser we had to get it all set up it's been some yeah, time man. yeah it's been some time so i'm gonna i'm gonna need a minute on this one to that's uh, all good man. Oh, there we go. great see yo you learn anything cool about Beautiful. space all right about anyways space. I yeah. got it already. I, I, I just, I just got asked an awesome. Yeah, I watched yeah, the video ahead. the other day. Yeah. And well, um, it was, it was on like the actual feasibility of being able to mine asteroids. Okay. Oh, dude, that's totally possible, right? Yeah. Well, what yeah, it was, ba- it was basically yeah. saying that hmm. it was comparing the richest people on Earth and industries, and like the amount of money that would be found on an asteroid, and it was basically saying the, um, the meteor belt. Is a significantly like it's very far away, and in some ways it's unfeasible to do that right now with what we have. But there's a lot that are actually very close to Earth, and uh, I think they found one that's in the meteor belt that is just, dude, it's it's just a oh, solid yeah. rock of like gold, platinum, <laughs> and just super rare materials, man. Like if somebody managed to get to that fucker, I can't remember what it's called. All right, boys, we if gotta so- set like. <laughs> if somebody got dude if I'm somebody sorry, got there <laughs> yeah, i'm not even kidding man done. like dude pound coins would probably be made out of gold because dude. it would just be such a it'd be a metal that just everywhere right i thought you needed amount. a couple minutes i'm so sorry nah, it's all yeah. good it's all good like whenever, whenever right, we'll we'll also done. wouldn't wouldn't it be cool if we found fossils in those uh meteors and then like you're like it. aliens oh my aliens, god boys. Crazy. Don't get me started, man. Yeah. Alien oh, so and, oh. and pyramids of Giza's. But anyways, no, but one, to... can, can you imagine for one? You know, just say one <laughs> thing. Can you actually imagine? You have if, ten like, seconds. You know, they're talking about going. On, we need a space podcast. But like, yeah. if they did go to Mars, which they're planning to do, and yeah, they Elon did go Musk. to these meteors and so forth, can you actually like? For me, I like. I don't know what it is. I I, I guess I like. I always love fossils as a little kid. I used to go fossil hunting like every day. So, I would be digging, bro. I'd be looking for some like uh, fucking sign of life. That'd be so cool. Yeah, let's hope Anyways, we don't die while you're in Mars. Seconds, buddy. What was that? Yeah. Oh man. All right. You're so great. Uh, this this is this is the um, topic that has caused the storm for a lot of players, uh, especially the casual players. You know for sure because I would say the I've, casual players feel like they I've have been the most to lose. Them to balance equipment for so long. I'm just yeah. wondering is they balanced it the way that i hope they did that's yeah. what i'm a little scared well of. there's quite a lot of things like like i'm gonna scroll down real quick just to show you how much stuff is being talked about here okay like this is a pretty long one it's quite yeah i mean i'm not done scrolling yet all right nope oh, oh nope. that's a big boy nope aren't no, you glad yeah, you're watching you the podcast that now literally summarizes this whole fucking diagram you're welcome uh, so anyways there there's a lot to talk about however most of these are actually really minor, but the biggest thing that we're gonna focus on eventually when we get to it is going to be not the twisted bow. Don't worry about that one. It's going to be the uh, blowpipe actually. Yeah, there we go. This one. So we're gonna talk a lot about this because this is like, you know, everybody gets it. Even the casual players will understand. Well, for blowpipes, did it get <laughs> better or did it get worse? Oh, I mean, of course, of course, it didn't get better, but <laughs> but anyway, right, it's not as bad. As, I mean, I just uh, want to know where we're going with this here. Like, yeah. did it get so? Well, got you know, rebouncing. Worse? You know, rebouncing. Right. Like some things did get better. Suggestion wise, some things. Well, did they ever touch like dehyde? Was that touched at all? Like oh, top yes, and bottom? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, yes. oh, okay. We can talk. Right. Yeah, that's like the second most important thing, probably on yeah, this list. Yeah. That, yeah. that and Dins. Happy, PK's favorite, you know. 
excited to see the black ei changes yeah i'm just gonna summarize this part so basically uh, before this post even came out they uh, at, put out a survey for people to fill and uh, the questions they asked basically revolved around do, do you think i believe um items like that are weaker should get like stronger or yeah something along those lines and and there and and then there was another question was something along the lines of i'm just paraphrasing right so the other question was something about about uh, do you think you're concerned about power creep in you know in in the game going forward stuff like that <laughs> that uh, already like done with yeah, yeah that was kind of like you know the survey because it kind of leads to this rebalancing right because you know power creep um you know the topic of power creep and how it might affect future updates and yeah this, this is kind of what this thing's about so anyways uh let's go over what the survey results said so over half of those surveyed uh, over 10,000 responses, by the way, stated power creep is something they think about and felt that power creep existed within those school. It, which is a fair, you know, point because most MMOs, pretty much every MMO has power creep in. Oh, it's and, huge power creep. Yeah, you know, game. it's inevitable, right? No power. All right, most players. Every, every MMO has power creep. Exactly. And every MMO deals every with game has a power creep. Yeah, yeah every game that gets yeah. updates, pretty much. Most Apart players. From chess. Chess is good. Yeah, that I beat you in. Sorry. Most, Price, most players felt that no, power creep. Hey, listen, we can hash this out right now if you want, man, because yeah. that's bullshit. You, know, I, uh, you, you, you beat me once, I beat you twice. Sit. Yeah, but I was conscious when I beat you once. You were dreaming when you beat me twice, so <sighs> I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I was okay. like blacked out when I beat you, dude. Yeah, most players felt <laughs> that power creep. Never happened, dude. What are you talking about? Right, that ready? was pretty much trying to get a photo uh, go against us, and he just like he stopped <laughs> playing in the chat, dude. <laughs> I was like, "Come and play with us, Paul," and he just stopped typing. Feels bad. Yeah, he got scared. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. He backed down though from Almighty Rage. He, he powered away, man. All right, right, boys, right. boys. Most players felt that power creep isn't a major problem in No Scream Escape, which is, um, you know. You can tell that I guess most players are casual, so they probably feel that way because they're not going to reach all the end game content yet. The, the subtle roast. However, Continue. over half of the survey were worried about how, uh, about the long term health effect of old school because of power group. Uh, almost all survey would like to see undesirable equipment improve to encourage variety. Almost half of those survey would not like to see powerful weak, uh, powerful equipment weakened. So it's so a little this bit isn't in the game yet, right? Or no, is it in the no. game? No. <coughs> no. This is, okay, so it's being talked about. Okay. Yeah, this is I just a discussion right. and uh, what they're planning on doing, you know, in so the So pretty much chat, it's your time to tell Jagex what you want from this update because it looks like they have already done the surveys, but it's not that you, you could you can go tweet at it and be like, hey, maybe yeah, change this, tweak that, bulwark this, bulwark that. Send them some info. It looks like they're really trying to grab all information they need. Yeah, on armor. so like these changes, um, I think most of them, if not all of them, are going to not get pulled because they're uh, under integrity issues. So anything integrity issue related, uh, Jagex will have to make the final call. Okay. However, it, it feedback, you know, but this is the important part because this is why they're giving it to you early like this info. is there a link they give for feedback where you um can i believe your... so probably at the bottom yeah share your feedback with us via official forums reddit or discord reddit or, forums. or the discord okay. it's all at the bottom uh, you can actually, well, make yourself vocal boys if you want something yeah, to right change there. that is not covered right now because dude it... I, I will just say reddit is a terrible place to get feedback man i mean isn't it just one from... it. but like, the thing is is that you just want it from thing. all places you know the, the, the you're 100 right, yeah. right i agree but they still take that reddit feedback mm -hmm. though, and, right? and the yeah. thing is they gotta but balance what, it out with all the other places right they can't well, what i'm saying is reddit is a source of gathering general information is kind of bad well, because Reddit is the definitely the casual. stuff is the only thing that's seen. Yeah, Reddit right? is heavily casual uh, focus. So and they can get some from Twitter. Twitter is usually less casual. So, you know, th they can balance out the feedback based on that, right? Obviously, if you pick from one source that's very biased, then it's not going to really Dude, be I, meaningful. Dude, mate, listen, so. I got Chris Archie's number from RuneFest. I'm going to call him up right now. He's coming on the podcast. Let's ask him. <laughs> yeah, ask him what, no, the, where's what are you Chris thinking? Archie? The, the whole time we're, we're just going to gonna yell at him. We're just going to fucking. <laughs> no, no, yeah, we should really try to figure out where he is, though. I haven't seen him forever. Anyways, any, anyways, anyways. So um, this this is what's going to happen, right? These are the ideas that they're thinking of. So one of the big things is rescaling the level requirements of certain gear. Because, for example, you have a blowpipe that's 75. 
Yo, my my man smoking the. Damn, was that thing? really? Yes, you couldn't have backed <laughs> away <laughs> from the mic, dude. <laughs> yo, yo, was, yo, yeah. yo, press the hockey for uh for silence, my guy. <laughs> that's yeah. why he came closer than he does the talking. Like, yeah. He just... All right, so for example, right, we have the blowpipe that's level seventy five, but we have a crystal ball that's level seventy. They're only five levels apart, but for some reason, the blowpipe is easily twice the DPS for only five mm-hmm. levels, right? Which, which of course doesn't make much sense. So they're like, okay, let's rescale some of these newer weapons because they don't really mm-hmm. make sense, right? So rapier, Garazi could be eighty attack instead of seventy five. You know, all the other equivalents would go to eighty. The blade of Solomon base, stuff like I, that. I mean, I can see why they want to change attack requirements, but I don't. See how that combats the problem, but I guess we're just getting into it. Well, it's just a psychological problem, right? It's just like imagine you're a new player and you're buying a blowpipe. And is there any ninety tier weapons or anything that has ninety? Because I know they touch Uh, eighty. No, I think Scythe is the closest, uh, which is eighty-five right now. Dude, I I, do know if I may chip in quickly regarding these um, the tiers of the weapons. Right, it's not tangent. It's to the topic. Yeah. So for a very long time, I feel like Jagex have kind of. They, they've kind of ignored power creep in the sense of turning a blind eye to it. So whenever they bring out these new items, the rapier, the scythe, the outer mall, and so forth, like they've tried to prevent it looking like power creep by setting it to like 75 attack. When in fact, like, dude, the abyssal tentacle is a 75 attack weapon, the same as the scythe. You're comparing two different fucking universes there. Those, <laughs> yeah. like, the, the scythe is at least. 85 attack requirement if not even 90 but like it depends where they want to take it there, there's just way too many 75s basically everything to up to level 70 on the melee page is pretty good like you've got all the barrow pieces the abyssal whip and so forth and then 75 you've got a ton of super strong and not so strong weapons that are all the same tier like it doesn't make sense they're not placed in a right place yeah, and i think they did psychologically that to just prevent it looking like power creep but like a scythe is not a level 75 attack weapon that shit is like the best fucking well in most certain situations the best melee weapon in game like when you compare it to like the tentacle when you go to tob like you're literally comparing different worlds right there yeah there's a huge yeah, difference. It's a psychological thing. Like a new guy playing the game, getting started, would, would look you at these. You kind of see they don't want to break the uh, the ninety though. They're they're going eighty five max. Yeah. They're like we don't want to touch ninety. Because 90. you know what's funny? Yeah. They they often they I see them pick the number seventy eight a lot, and I feel like it's because of the old days with like fast and stuff maybe? like yeah. right right back yeah. in the day. Like they have seventy eight magic. I see seventy eight attack on a lens. Like it's so random. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's me, but. It kind of looked weird. Mm-hmm. God, man, that could be like a really good video if anyone had inside information. I, on I, I do think I do think that if they change the lance from seventy to seventy-eight, that's kind of good because the lance is really good. However, it's like specifically good at one thing, right? It's really good at killing dragons. So it's not quite like a level eighty item, but it's definitely more than a seventy-five. It's better than the tentacle, but it's not as good as something which would be like the rapier. Because it has specific well, it's, niches and uses. Sure. It's 70 right now, I think, because of the Zemi has that, yeah, right? Yeah, Zemi has is 70. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, okay. th- this is not like so super important. The only issue is, of course, the specific builds. They're going to have the biggest problem with this because they're like, oh no, I got to break my 70 attack limit or whatever, right? True. Et cetera, et cetera. But um, as maybe. For, uh, yeah. you no, know, these weapons are really used a ton in pvp yeah. no, look at the staffs and stuff it was I just like the, the it, like these items for example you know yeah or well, also yeah. Saying, like, for like iron like man peers maybe yeah. like i know olives might get uh dicked on this because he's like 75 attack oh uh, yeah go, go down a bit go down a bit yeah. to the staffs yeah what about those magic staffs no no those like with the orbs oh yeah there like girls for those peers that have those so they have to be higher combat as well now because you need higher well, just higher mage right that's true. It might yeah. give you like maybe one or two combats, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. gonna be some things that some builds that mm. will get impa- impacted by I, this, but I, I that's think okay. what, Not a big deal. what I was trying to get to and what they're trying to do as well is the the power and usefulness of an item should be represented in the actual Properly. level you need to wield yeah. that item, right? So I, I it's like if you have, agree with that. I think if you have, you know, the the regular nightmare staff, I think they've set it to sixty five, and then if you want to use it with an orb. It's like 80 plus, or what does it say? Well, 72 and 82. 72 and 82. Are they going to change any of the um, 
powers on the staffs and the weapons though no right? it's the same effect no? No. okay just the, just the attack okay all right because could you imagine they make the attack level higher and then they like nerf the weapon <laughs> yeah that's for the blowpipe you know <laughs> oh yeah that's what they'll do for the blowpipe uh, well, dude if i can just add a bit of positive feedback real quick it's slightly off topic but it's to do with the nightmare staff i was having this thought process the other day and you know how the whole PvP thing's just an absolute mess and PvPers don't get what they want and stuff? So yeah, yeah. for the longest of times, PvP have been begging for the Crassy Sword to come back into the game, okay? And I had a real think about it. There was a lot of issues with the Crassy Sword. Firstly, it was 250k. It could literally hit the same as an AGS, which was at the time back in the day, like probably 50, 60 mil, maybe even more. And it's like, so how did they bring that into old school RuneScape and implement it in a way where it fixes those issues? So firstly, they give it to the drop table of probably one of the most obnoxious bosses, which is just horrible to kill and incredibly rare to get a drop. And secondly, it does the exact same thing as the Karassi, but A, it's a lot rarer, B, it's a lot more expensive, and C, it's not accessible by everybody. Like, that was a, an update that they did where they gave PvP an update they were asking for in probably the best way they possibly could without, like, just hurting the rest of the game. I think the way they implemented that was just phenomenal, in my opinion. Isn't like, when the you Volatile, think, though? Isn't Volatile. it the Karasi kind of... I Did think, they make I that th Karasi one? I much? think it's... Is it Volatile? I, yes, I think it is. Volatile. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, which like it's not the most expensive. I think it's the cheapest one. It's like a hundred mil. Now it still. is, yeah, yeah. A hundred mil is a lot better than two hundred and fifty k. You see, mm, okay. a lot better. They implemented that so well. Anyways, let's continue. All right, so um, they're also gonna dabble on the face scar a little bit. It's super random though, because they all they're doing is lowering the strength bonus by one, for the most what? part. What? <laughs> Why? Okay, I mean, yeah. I guess sure. I don't really because I no, guess they want to make the serpent a little bit yeah. more uh, in line. I, I guess. I got a funny feeling they want to introduce a new helm from Raids Free, which was in either of this Another blog. One? Yeah, it's at the bottom of this one. I, I think they want to introduce something from Raids Free. Because yeah. if they keep the Noit's helm out it is right now, they can't really one-up that because it's really powerful. Whereas they can bring no out a Raids stats. Free helm that could or, be significantly better and more rare. Because everybody can get this. Dude, they're just gonna put another mask on it. You put on your your. <laughs> it's like you another helm, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the elite night shot face guys. You, you yeah. like you get like berserker. The champions. The champions. Spiky helmed face guard. You know. That'd be a good drop. You get some <laughs> horns. You can slap on any helmet, and it gives it melee strength. Yeah, give it an add-on beard. <laughs> The bearded face card. Mm, there we go. <laughs> Adds ten more defense. So yeah, <laughs> like in term in in terms of this update with the Nate's not face uh, card, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, I personally I really think care. it's still it's gonna have its uses I'm considering the it. fact it's gonna be the same as the serpentine minus the serpentine anti poison effect, but it's not gonna cost you scales. And as so no it's still stats. gonna have its uses. I also, guess I, also I no negative know. stats. That's big. No negative stats. Oh well, I guess we'll and, see. And this is the trollless balancing thing of all time. Basically, for the Twisted Bow, they're like, you guys don't know this, mm. but Twisted Bow has four prayer bonus, but soon it will not have four prayer bonus. Yeah. Uh, and well, nothing will really change because most people the only won't change? even realize it. Yeah, that, that's it. I, I think this, uh, I, I had a thought about this after I read this update. This, this and in my so opinion, strong. this one was by far the most pointless and insignificant. Yeah, yeah. I, it, like, four prayer bonus, whoop de do. Because like, it, it's one of those things which range, it, it doesn't really matter. They take it away, but then at the same time, it's like it doesn't matter if it stays. Yeah, I would just leave it alone, matter, in my way. opinion. But <laughs> like yeah. literally, yeah. most people buy the bow and don't even realize that's prayer bonus. What is Do you think they were just thinking about the twisted bow being strong, and they're like, "What should we do to it?" Instead of thinking we need to figure, like we need to do something about it, but not really. Like, oh, should we just take the prayer bonus away? Dude. I'll write yeah. that down, dude. That'll be a great fucking block. I mean, the, the range requirement is higher, quite a yeah. lot higher. Which... <laughs> 75, 85, no, they are <laughs> seeing the requirement and nerfing the weapons. Okay. Yeah, hey, if you can afford right. a one build weapon, I'm sure you're already 99 range. You know? Yeah, you uh, got point elite to make up for the prayer. Uh, this one's your favorite, man. You should read this. This 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 is a surprise gift for you. Dragonite armor. Ooh, dude. Okay. Some noticeable differences right there. Yeah, just just have a read. You you can. 
Oh, yeah, Dragonite yeah. armor has been notoriously powerful for an incredibly low cost. Low co- it's not even a cost. You, you don't even pick up Beehive when you PK someone. You pick up their potions. <laughs> it offers high defense bonuses, especially against magic attacks of uh, neg- negligible negative stats to offset this. This armor generally has, can be that. Yep. goes against the combat triangle. It goes against everything ever holy, and it should be terminated. <laughs> what are they doing, New Idea? Um... Yeah. Current, current stats, proposed stats. Scroll down a bit. Oh man, it's a little blurry on my screen. What oh, they change? Yeah, okay. really so yeah, what, what they're the basic way. what they're basically doing is they're leaving the attack bonuses the exact same across the entire board. And they're focusing Here, right, like, it, it this be. this is hey. kind of interesting because they say the issue of black dehyde is specifically uh, especially against magic, magic attacks. So they're only actually nerfing on the Black Dehyde body minus five mage defense. That's but it? The big thing, yeah, but the big thing that they're doing is they're reducing the, uh, the melee defense it has. Like, almost half in it, but not quite. So... Uh, oh, okay, this is hey, a tricky mint, one. Mint. For the top and bottom, you're losing about um, 10 magic... Actually, yeah, uh, eight oh, magic. Yeah, eight, yeah, 10 so magic. Ten, okay, 10, 10 so magic, 10, 10 off the body. That's not bad. 10, 10 off the body in the top. Uh, and it looks like they did the negate some of the defense. They should really take more of that defense out of there, though. Dude, I, I, do you know what? My personal opinion on this is that what they should do is they should kind of switch it up. I, I think that instead of taking it from 50 mage defense on the dehyde body and put it down to 45, they should drop it down to 40. And then they should add about another five onto all of the meaty defenses. Because let's not get this twisted. This this update here is solely for PvP. Although it's not stated, this is solely for PvP. Okay? So with that bearing in mind, when it comes to killing people in Dehyde, your issue isn't hitting them with melee or range. Your issue is being able to catch that freeze. As they've even stated, especially with magic. I think well, they should nerf the magic down another five and maybe add a little bit more defense on top. I'm, I'm down with them nursing more... magic. I'm down. But I think in, in general, though, with the defense, I've had so many problems with someone just whacking on a black dehyde body and a bulwark or just black dehyde. And like, they're like, a it is killable. Good. It is yeah. very good. So like, I don't if know you're if 40 need... defense. We, we got... If you're 40 defense, I think a black dead body isn't even that different from like a rune play body. So you have, there's no, no reason to switch, to switch to rune. So I think it's good that they nerfed the melee defense, to be honest. Yeah, I do too. I, I'm not saying they shouldn't nerf it, but I'm saying I would rather they nerf the magic another five more. and gave it yeah. back a little bit more melee defense. I say they just nerf the magic another five in general. Yeah, just, in general. And then, yeah, yeah just, knock it, just peg it down. Man. But it, like, so no, I mean, they, they could do that. They could do that, but the interesting thing is, like, when I looked at this, I went onto the old Screenscape wiki, looked at Carol's, and with this nerf coming into game, like, Carol's versus Black Dehyde after this nerf, Carol's will be signif- like so significantly better than Black Dehyde. Because that's an issue at the yeah. moment, is that they're very close, but the price difference Hello? is huge. I heard it Carol- went from yeah, 2 yeah. mil to 3 mil. Carol's is- still going Carol's has Cat, always so, been like a lot better. It, but now it's well, even better. Better. Uh, <laughs> I love well, yeah, it. Yeah, look at it like, look at like this though. Carol's has sixty-five magic defense on the Carol's top. The Black no, Dehyde no. has fifty. Okay, so yeah, it is significantly better, but now it also 20, has some uh, lower melee stats. Okay, so with this update, with the Black Dehyde body going down to forty-five. It's going to have an extra 20 mage defense. And also, let's think about the price comparison. If you compare pre nerf, Black Dehyde body, 7 8k. Carol's body, at least a mil. True. Okay. I mean, true. That, that's a big, big difference. And with this right. update, like, that's going to be even more clear. Like, Indeed. it's going to be, like, if you want to survive somebody and get splashed on a lot and tank it out, Carol's will be the way to go. And I think that is good. Like, this like, is for PvP, 100%. I like how they nerfed the vamps, too. Like, verily, <laughs> what they do. Wait, who the fuck wears vamps, so, man? Ain't no one out there like, uh, oh, I guess I got a Here, here Here's another one for you, though. Here. This is uh, the big one, too, 
for for the PVP side. Oh yeah, Verif was saying peers. It looks like the chaps got nerfed as well, so the peers might be a little oh, angry yeah. at that. Chap, chaps and Vems. I use. I mean, Vems pure, peers. Well. Peers have peers no defense gloves. anyways. Like it doesn't. It doesn't matter what their defense bonus is. With one defense, you just get destroyed every peers time. Peers wear anyways. combat bracelets or myth gloves. They don't wear Vams. Yeah, yeah like the, the defense on a pure is just completely negligible. They it, like like if Black Dehyde gave zero. Yeah, defense nobody stats, cares they about the Vams. <laughs> the Vams would troll like. The, the body there is the main thing. The body and the yeah. chaps, yeah. They they got so, an overall ten magic. The bulwark production. apparently got changed, and this might make me. I don't know. Let me read more. Adding negative twenty five magic oh, defense, shit. reducing melee defense bonuses by twenty five. That's Ooh. a that's a very oh, minus that's twenty five defense, dude. That is that that's, is crazy. Yeah, that's, that, that's why the D high nerf isn't isn't as crazy as it could be, right? It's because they're gonna take it down on the dense bulwark. Dude, okay, I might come back to the wild soon then because that's a really good update. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really I, good update. It's really good. I agree. I think it's yeah, really good. Yeah, damn, the Din's got Finally, smacked I, I, We've been it. screaming about the Bulwark since it's been out. And... It, it, it's, it's a bulky weapon, so the range defense is cool, but like it should not have magic defense. So it's, I mean, it zero have. is kind of weird. So I, I think many, yeah. minus 25 is good, I guess. That will yeah. probably mean yeah, that I kind of wish not they could it. have two different stats, you know, one for being the wilderness and one for being not in the wilderness. <laughs> I'd be okay with that, but I, I don't um, even think people use this outside the wild, though. I do, but it's okay. Whatever. But how do you use it on? It's just for yeah. speed running. That's literally it. I it's just, they use it across yeah. the like, top rope and raid. Yeah, that's literally right. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever. I honestly, I honestly don't. It's not a big deal because it's still 148 range defense, so it's fine. This is, yeah, this is a fantastic game. Yeah, I'll live with this. That's probably the best PvP update this year yeah. for wilderness I, I, yeah. going black to going black going back to the uh the going black black? Dragon <laughs> Whoa, <there. laughs> black. yeah i i think um i think the black dragon hide nerf's gonna be good especially considering like they're trying to I, i'm assuming the reason they're doing this is because there is a small gap and in terms of price a huge gap and you pay a lot more for an extra what is it 15 mage plus but you're risking so much more it's like bear that in mind with this this, this is not a pvm update the nerf on the d hide is not for pvm in any way shape or form this is a hundred percent pvp it's not being labeled but it is yeah okay? no, so with that this. being bared in mind like this is good for pvp because it might encourage people to take carols more because it's like if you want to have that op black dehyde old pre-nerf effect where you get splashed all the time you take yourself the cat rills if you don't take cat rills and you take dehyde you, you know you're not going to be as good as what you were before you're probably going to get frozen a hell a hot, hell of a lot more right. and you're going to be squishy on top of that because the media right. defenses are cut yeah, it's bringing back that risk first reward you know finally yeah, it, it's finally. good it, it's actually very good what uh, what else are they changing, man? Is this it's, um? So much I mean, that's that. huge. I mean, for, this is it for thing. PvP for the most part, dude. Okay, because that, um, that let, let's it. let's save blowpipe for the last one because there's some smaller stuff we should take care of. Okay, if okay. you want. Yeah, because that thing's gonna take like thirty minutes, bro. I I, I guarantee it. <laughs> what do you got? Like a Venn di diagram in the back of the blowpipe? And yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things to talk about. You oh know? man. Anyways, uh, buffing the bad though. Let's quickly go over this. So there, there are you're buffing some things. You know, bone bone crusher necklace getting a buff. I got that. <laughs> uh, basically, this this uh, necklace, if you wear it, uh, after you wear it for a certain amount of time and you keep it on, uh, bones that that get crushed by it will give you prayer bonus. But now they got rid of the cooldown. Well, they're gonna get rid of the cooldown, so you can just literally one take that bitch and you'll get the prayer back when the when the bones like all auto buried. Before you had to like put it on for is, a long time, which made it annoying. Is that, to X, use. is that XP or are you talking about restoring prayer points? It's both. Because if you crush the bone, it's okay. XP, and then it then activates and gives you the prayer, right? Cool. But before that'd be, had I mean, that's a really good item in that. That'd be cool for doing like chin in if you're doing like monkeys or yeah, something like that, yeah. I guess. And uh, also, this is a troll crystal armor and bow. They're going to buff the armor set effect from 15% to 20%, which literally means the crystal bow will gain one, one to two max hits, which is still basically not good because its max hit is like a 38, 39. And, oh, I thought that was going to be really good. And, and the mind. whip can hit 50s for the same attack speed. So it's still dead content. Like this doesn't it doesn't even matter. <laughs> so this is a relevant one. I honestly, guys, we, I don't even talk about this one. It's not worth the worth the time. But this one's interesting. <laughs> 
This one's interesting though because they are gonna change. Well, I was hoping they change a Rune Warhammer. Uh, Thank yeah, God. so they're gonna lower the <laughs> attack speed. Oh, oh well, not not the Dragon Warhammer, but but for Bronze to Just Rune, rude. yeah, for Bronze to Rune, <laughs> they're gonna change the attack speed. Uh, oh, Thank yeah. God, man! I'm tired of those people coming out in the wild with their fucking Warhammers, beating my ass, man. I'm getting tired. That's why I quit. And they're also right. buffing the stats of the Warhammer class Dude, a bit. When was the last time you saw anyone from use a Warhammer other than for a clue scroll in the fishing <laughs> guild? Let's Apparently be honest. not anymore. It's gone now. That build is dead. Sorry, but, boys. Like, if you, just you, you know, as, as silly as it might seem. I actually kind of am on board with what they're planning to do with it. I just hope it doesn't take very much dev time. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of makes sense because they're making it so it doesn't have a, an attack requirement. It has a strength requirement, which you know, kind of makes sense because it's a warhammer. Oh. You don't have to be accurate with it, do you? If you think about it in like a D and D sense. Yeah, you can be a strength Ooh, that's here. That's really cool. Strength so here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I, I didn't. I, wonder, I thought they. they... Were... Okay, cool. Sorry. I was gonna say they could do well. If they're gonna do that for that, they could potentially do it for Dragon Warhammer as well. Just but they're not it touching it. Strength requirement. They're yeah, not touching I'm be Dragon Warhammer stats. It's hit insane. like sixties at level forty. Holy like that shit. could actually that could be a that's thing not, though because yeah, it is. that's it like would an Obi Mauler, right? An yeah. Obi Mauler just uses Obi Mauler. It doesn't have attack uh, levels, so it could have a spec weapon now mm -hmm. of D claws. I, I can't think of yeah. there's another spec weapon for uh, Obi Maulers. Wait, can they even is. use this? This could be cool. Can they, oh, can they use right. D claws? Why am I, trying to I don't think they can I, I, use D claws, right? They've got one attack, so I don't think there's a special weapon they can use. Oh yeah, yeah. but they would yeah. have Dragon Warhammer though. After yeah, this if they change. were to do that, if they were to implement True. it, this is only from Bronze to Rune. If they mm -hmm. were to make that change as well, that could change. That'd be so the game. cool. That'd be, that would be cool. Yeah, you but hit like a sixty on that with that. Spec. Could you imagine like getting and, barrage and the ninety nine strength? Right, you'd have a whole different Britting build too, because you could just yeah. always have the melee hand. You wouldn't have any attack. That'd it would be actually sick. be. It would be super cool. And mm -hmm. also, a lot of um, a lot of molders don't have protect from item either, so they'd be risking war hammers out there. So oh, that'd be scary. That could be cool. Oh, I, don't, I don't think they're doing that, but maybe if they watch this video, they might think. Like the way I see it is like if they're gonna do it from bronze to rune. Why not just do it for a dragon as oh, well? Oh, dude, no. It Warhammer says we also make the dragon hell. Warhammer require 60 strength to quit rather than attack for consistency. My, oh, my, my, I'm sorry, I totally missed that. Yeah, my, no, it, my, it my guy, middle. you don't want a five tick dragon Warhammer, bro, <laughs> for a PVM. You know, you want to keep that thing six ticks. Big Christ, time. ain't no one give a shit about PVM, dude. No, Bring it in dude, the game. Five tick dude, Warhammer, bro. Are that's disgusting, man. Ticks? What are you? Wait, where did the ticks come from, Ray? Dragon Warhammer six ticks. But, yeah, but we're talking about the attack. Oh no, no, level. but but the thing is, they're going from bronze to bronze to rune warhammers are getting faster. I believe. Oh, oh, even cooler. I see. I see. Wait, actually, okay. maybe not. Maybe it's just for uh, maces. I think, yeah, I think that's just for hastas and. Uh, okay, spirits. never mind. Yeah, disregard that. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 could actually be really cool, man. It make a new PK map. Yeah, cool. just. Keep, I mean, if they change the strength stronger? requirements, fine. Are they doing what? Sorry, man. Are they are they making maces stronger? Yeah, they're making it faster. So. One one tick faster. Ooh, yo! Hopefully, it doesn't really mess with people smiting out in the wild with. The... Didn't they like fix that or something? Right. Yeah, ancient if it's mace. a tick faster with ancient mace, I wonder how many more they can get in. Oh, I, 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 dude, I doubt this is going to include that. Like, they are aware that the mace. Dude, is... if they were aware, <laughs> this shit wouldn't exist. Okay, what do you mean? Uh, I mean yeah, I, I, yeah, that's a good question. I wonder if they would also include the ancient mace. What this might be change? an unpopular opinion, but Jagex know about the ancient macing. Okay, now they definitely know. But listen, uh, I've been. Have I been ancient maced? I think I, I got Ancient Mace once for like an AGS, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I Like the amount of coordination that actually goes into it. Yeah, that shit's like, spooky, fucking, bro. <laughs> dude, dude, I'm not a fan of it, AGS, man. That's yours. Yeah. I agree, there is coordination, but I'm not a fan. I'd rather yeah, it be no. people can bring their weapons into the wilderness, and if it's multi, there's a bigger chance of getting smited. But there ain't a fucking 100% chance. I don't like that. If there's a bigger no. chance, yeah, but 100% chance where you can't fight against it, I mean, yeah. that does sound like a bug uh, to me. I, I, I yeah, trust okay. Jagex with the information with they what have they know, yeah. of knowing that people don't like Ancient Maces as nope. is. They wouldn't give it a buff. Actually, man, you should tweet Jagex Husky might, and be I like... I might be wrong. Yo, I'm, I'm, I got enough confidence that they won't do that. Yeah, you want like you want a quick answer? Tweet Mod Husky and be like, yo, does Ancient Mace get the speed reduction too? And he'll tell you. Yeah. Dude, tweet Mod Ash. 
Mod Ash. I, I think like Mod, Mod Husky Ash. and and like those his group of mods are probably the ones behind this. Mod Ash is like I just code, you know. He's like I just code, man. Poor Ash. Yeah. He's just so likable. Yeah. But yeah. Um, this is a armor. weird one. This is so weird. We should probably gloss over this fast. Wider armors like chain bodies, med helms, and square shields are completely outclassed. With plate bodies, full helms, and kite shields. I mean, it makes sense to me. The heavier armor pieces provide too small a bonus range attack negativity just to justify using anything else. Increases the negative range attack by 50%. For plate. <laughs> Apparently, there's too many people in full <laughs> armor ranging out there. Oh, no. Th uh, this, this one is really important, actually. I know why this is really important. Well, because I think Frame made that video showing that people PK in, like, full thorax with, like, an MSB, and they're still hitting, like, Crazy. Yeah, the, barely has any negative bonuses, it's right? It's full so. DH in a mage bow, right? Yeah, so this, do this that. would yeah. definitely It'll ruin kill that, that build. Yeah. It'll kill that yeah. build, though. So, well, I guess you could switch into dehyde and switch it. It make it more skillful. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel weird changing stuff that was the way it was before old school even happened. You know, it seems like a weird but, yeah, um, fix, but, but I guess it's a fix if there's a problem dude, that big. I don't know. I, I, I'm of the opinion that if they're going to change Dehyde, which is also very close to the start, True. it's going to have a knock on effect to everything else. It has to. If they leave everything don't else, don't change how the it graphics. Is, just don't change the graphics. No. But, but imagine <laughs> if they just nerfed the black Dehyde, <laughs> and there was a the portion graphics. of time where red Dehyde was just better than black Dehyde. Okay, come on, man. Have <laughs> on effect. Come no, on, bro. That's, that's for real. I'm just painting the picture. Yeah, no, no, no seriously. I'm a little would concerned that be, about them changing, like, Would that be the cool. same mod that added in the Room Berserker shield? The guy who made red Dehyde stronger? Dude, just, we need to bring those back, man. This yeah, no, bad. I'm just concerned of, of them dabbling onto old, old armor pieces like that, but, um... I it's mean, just, then again, general, nobody really uses room for long. Sorry, what did you say? It's just in general, play body, play like a helm. Because for PKing, I've noticed that people that do like MSB but, to AGS fighting, they I never use DI because they, yeah. you hit like pretty often in like full but, torque. Uh, Verif, I think the, the important thing to note is that they're not like changing barrels. They're only changing rune armor. They're not changing barrels? No. Look. Oh, then it wouldn't matter. Yeah, they're literally just changing they, rune they stuff. They did say oh. metal armors. Oh, I thought metal armor. It said all plate bodies and plate legs. So if it's a yeah, plate leg so. okay. and a all. plate body, then it might be all. No, I, all. I don't think it's barrels because I think they would make a very specific, mm, you know, you might, point, right? right? Also, would they not specifically Do they cover mentioned? barrels in this? Um, no, there's no. nothing, dude. No, not no, a single barrel. I'm just saying chain bodies, and there's no barrels, chain bodies. So. Listen, yeah, exactly. I, I think I'm pretty sure this is metallic you, armor, bro, that they're trying to... Like you know, rune, uh, maybe even dragon, dragon armor. Might that be. would only that would fuck over F two P PKers. <laughs> yeah, they would. They would have to change. They would have to change how they PK quite a lot. If I can make an assumption on why this is all happening, I think that Barrows, that sort of like the place of where it's at with its defense and tear, is standard. basically a perfect spot. I, I think that that right hit thing. the nail on the head right there. And Let I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to they're trying to create like bigger or more according. Gaps I think they're trying to create to more low level diversity, like you know, low, because this rune stuff is low level. I mean, you know, clearly, yeah. right? Like the, 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 thing, the thing to bear in mind is like Jagex want to bring out new updates, and what's a big issue for Jagex bringing out new updates when it comes to the rewards? It's like where do those pieces of That's armor pretty much and what new this thing things? Is about, honestly, where, where does it fit on the tier list? So with them addressing all of this, they're literally making room for new content to fill those gaps. That's what this is. Yeah, so don't get yeah. hung up on the mm -hmm. whole, you know, I don't oh. want them changing the old stuff. They're just, they're making it accordingly. And let's be honest. Don't change your graphics. uses rune armor now? Don't like don't only the graphics. real med, sort of mid-level players. Okay. Which Maybe is fine. A, some poor dude logging in and full rune in a mage bow going, why am I only hitting fives now instead of my sweet no, nine? No, you know, the, those weapons are getting buffed though. He's going to quit. This, is, this, is the thing, this is the thing. They're actually buffing other rune items to yeah. counter that. Which, whether that will work or not, Jimmy's we can discuss. Jimmy's favorite like, uh, Warhammer will be Warhammer. stronger. <laughs> no, but, but, okay, but what's, the, what's a new minus range defense on a rune play body? I mean, right. a range attack. What it's is right it? there. It's now minus, it's minus 15. Attack. Oh, the no, new one, current. sorry. Oh, there we go, here. It yeah, is... the new one's minus 15. Yeah. Oh, that's not even that much of a difference. What? No, it's... it's yeah, I mean, it's it's low-level armor. The, the numbers themselves are going to be pretty mild I mean, in let's general. let's say they did that on Thorax, it still wouldn't change the meta, so it, it's, it doesn't matter then. Yeah, no, this is just weird. Pretty... It's just a weird... Like I said, it's a weird thing to me. Uh, it's kind of random then. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, okay. Yeah, we've covered everything. 
Yeah. Plus, that all the armor pipe. changes? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, let me try to remember like, from top here. Dude, what, yeah. what was the first thing we covered? Here, I'll just scroll up so that way you don't have to like kill oh, your I was, brain. I was trying to remember. Something for the audience watching right now, hey, so bear in mind, yeah. is that the rune items that we've just covered and the dehyde and the bulwark, it's all for PvP. I know this hasn't been labeled as PvP, but this is for PvP. Don't get that twisted. Because the only people that range in rune are people to PK. Yeah. That's free it. To play. Okay. Boys. All right. That's all of it. This is all for PvP. So just bear that in mind. It doesn't really affect PvM at all. If you're ranging, you're not uh, using a rune. Fucking still high. dragons in full rune, then you, the reason that you're hitting zeros isn't because your range level's low. It's probably just because you're doing it wrong. And, 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 and you should probably use at uh, least old school wiki for some some uh, basic yeah. research. All right, so they're going to change the attack combat. They're going to um, nerf dehyde magic and defense. They're going to change rune armor, um, negative range bonus, and give yep. chain bodies no negative range bonus. And then they're going to make mm -hmm. warhammers faster with no attack. No, 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 war, no warhammer faster. Um, they're ma making it maces. so it's strength only requirement to use. Strength only, yeah, strength maces. only warhammer. And then maces get faster? Yes. And that's it. I think we got it all. Okay. And Bulwark's, Bulwark's huge negative 25 magic. and uh, more, 25 more or less. Magic. Yeah. I, I, I will, if we can just go down to the bottom one real quick, which is a very small one. We don't have to talk about it for very long. But it's just the Rune Medham and Rune Square. Now, I personally, I am actually in favor of this. As unbelievably unimpactful this will be, because it's literally like it's getting like plus two range plus if you use this stuff and you lose a load of defense, whatever. I like how it fits more realistically into like a medieval time where it's like, dude, if you're an archer, you're not sat there in the tree in a fucking massive still play body and like suit. Like if you're very wealthy or they want to protect you, they may give you a fucking chain mail. Okay. They may give you some shitty little med helms that doesn't completely block your view. You might even have a little shitty square shield just to stop arrows coming. Okay, so I, I actually like this. I, I think it kind of fits into more of a realistic. So can we do some D and D role playing now with this uh, slightly modified there setup? We, go. we can do role playing <laughs> in the wild. I like, dude. I, I want to my so Gmail so I can use the dragon square shield, and then that would be. I, a I think it will. Yeah, I think dragon square shield. That's the thing. I think it will, and I, I think the you know a dragon medhelm and dragon square shield might actually have more of a place in PvP in with this. Yeah. yeah. Hey boys, uh, I got like ten thousand D meds in stock right now. So Oh you gonna, <laughs> gonna hit us up, man, when they go Imagine, dude uh, dragon fucking D med square again, dude. I remember when they used to be five hundred K. Yo, I, I dude, remember I sold dude, one for five hundred K, dude. I made bank. Mate, oh, oh, man, I, oh, listen, I when I when bro. I was a little kid, right? Oh, I remember man. I was such an Uber RuneScape. And I remember looking at the armor and I was looking at the tier stuff and I was like, okay, rune is really good. I'd never had rune. I was like, and then the dragon. Looks at me. Like, because when you when you go onto defense, it shows the dragon med helm. And then after that, 60, it was the dude. crystal bow. So I automatically, as a little kid, I was like, yeah, so the best sure. items you can game are made of crystal. Second best is dragon med helm. How do I get a dragon med helm? Fire giants have a chance of dropping it. Extremely rare. Okay. Oh, Every day I would kill fire giants. Same. I got like one. Like arrows probably i don't know what bow i was using one day before i did my paper round i logged in for like 10 minutes i get this little red thing on the floor i'm like it's gonna be one of those damn fucking rubies again i've had like 10 of them so far i'm getting trolled aren't i and i right clicked it said dragon i was dude i did my paper round i was the happiest day of my life dude <laughs> yeah, I, I dude yeah, i did it I, so I fast I, home logged in, I was just like i was drooling looking at this dragon eye in my head i got that myself man that was a huge deal. Yeah, I my just first remember game. teleporting Virac and in my inventory I had the D met and I was just right clicking it for like ten minutes straight. I was like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Dude, I, I think crazy? I was so <laughs> dude, I think I took a picture on like my shitty little knock no, not Nokia. It must have been some rubbish phone back in the day, one of the first ones with Damn, like you had a phone back then. And just like stare, the stare at it. You had a camera? What the hell, dude? You, you already had a you guys phone. Didn't have, you guys didn't have cameras. It must have been a phone. Razor hey, flip listen. phone, bro, I swear. I was a rock what with numbers on it, dude. What are you. I had I don't a brick. Even know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was something else then. Who knows? Yeah. Either way. I was happy I got my D med, man. Hey, hey boys, if you could help us timestamp some of this on the YouTube comments, man. We need, we need Loot Shark back. Hashtag bring back loot shark so we can annot annotate for us. All right, are you are we ready for the real topic? 
Real hey, we, oh. we all know that there's Hi. nobody watching this video at this point, and Luke Shark's the only homie that's actually still here. So shout yeah. out to you, man. Yeah. I think the real topic was the bulwark. All right. No, the real <laughs> topic. To me, that's life changing. But we'll we'll Outside say the blow pipes. That, that was, that was the big one for PvP. Now we do have the big one for PvM. Mm -hmm. This is the meat and potatoes of True. all of the rage that people have been kicking up on Twitter, on Reddit. So mm -hmm. weird. This this is gonna cause riots. I think this already has. This is already caused the game. some uh, fall their membership. Right. You know, they they've sent death threats to Jagex. No joke. They cry because they can't do Inferno anymore. I can't yep. do the inferno. I even though I haven't yet. Quivering yeah. in their fucking <laughs> what's, what's changed, by the way? What's changed? All right, I'm here, gonna... here. I'll give. I'll read it. All right, let, let me cover this one, boys. I'm I'm kind of an expert on this one nowadays. All right, yo. Anyways, <laughs> yo. Requiring 75 range to wield the toxic blowpipe is the go-to option for many. Uh, even maybe most PVM situations. It, it It's not maybe, it's true. In terms of raw damage output, it leaps and bounds better than previous tiers. Uh, Carols and Crystal Bow, of course. I'll perform some of the best slot setups for other styles, even when using low tier darts. Yes. When the Tyson Blue Pipe was all originally... this and they just kept in the game for this one. Right? When the Tyson Blue Pipe was originally pulled, we intended a attack speed of three game cycles. Due to an oversight with this introduction, that's a really... A comfy what? way of putting putting that, but um, yeah. What? Due to an oversight with this introduction, when using rapid style, it was released with attack speed of two. Many players have called it to, for it to be slow, but if you play in recent Trailblazer, you know how altering the attack speed of weapon completely changes how the gameplay feels. We'd like to avoid this. All right, here's the funny story, right? I remember playing when they were polling this, and you know what the poll said? Do you want the blowpipe? It's gonna come with an attack speed of three. Right, which means it would be MSB speed, and you know how slow it, that feels compared to a blowpipe now, right? But yeah. they they were just so, you know, not knowledgeable about their own game at the time that they forgot if you put a range weapon on rapid, it's actually one tick faster. Oh. <laughs> so when they pulled the three tick attack speed, because everything, because they every like the wiki and stuff, they always base it off of accurate, right? If you go on the wiki, for example. The magic short bolt is gonna be four tick attack speed on, on the wiki, but that's not true because if you go on rapid, right, which is what everybody actually uses, is rapid for every range weapon, it's Dude, three things. ticks. It's three that's ticks. Some knowledge right there, right? Right. Damn. Huh? So so these guys thought the same, right? They're like, yeah, man, you know, we're gonna make this weapon, it's gonna be intended to be three ticks. But they they forget that when you talk about three ticks, it's it's on accurate. So when it came out, you know, people are like, oh, what's this other option? Wrap it. I wonder what that does. And boom, it's two ticks. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that's uh, a bit of an oversight. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's quite, that was quite good. the oversight because the blowpipe essentially became like, uh, you know, over 50% more damage than what it was intended to be. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, oh, that's great. I saw day one people uh, PKing with the blowpipe. Oh my oh, god, that was were so getting, funny. like one shot, man. Yeah, like, dragon right, dude. It was so funny, dude. All, all the all like literally if you got hit by a blowpipe, all you did was eat your entire inventory and then just teleport out because you, you couldn't do anything. <laughs> I remember <laughs> so yeah, funny. that day when it came out, I was watching uh, uh Ice Gen 99 Bone Saw, my homie. Yeah, I think I was had, watching like about four K people watching him PK in Edgeville back when Edgeville was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Which sounds weird. And <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he was destroying with uh, that thing. Yeah, oh my it was god. Gross. Ridiculous. If you were on the I receiving you end, you just you just basically had to teleport in like a minute. But anyways, <laughs> that that's the funny point. But but that's what they meant by the oversight because yeah, all it took was misunderstanding from their end on how range weapons work, and and yeah, and then us players thinking that they actually meant three take rapid, but it was actually three take accurate. So. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the blowpipe. Wait, what, so what are they doing to the blowpipe? Right? Yeah, what uh, are anyways, they doing to that, man? Uh, well, let me know. finish this. Let me finish reading it. You know, the blowpipe is an important part of old school. So rather than removing it altogether, we'd like to propose some changes that will allow it to remain viable in many situations. He's going off on tangents again. Wow, wow. He has yeah. a good, he, yeah. Bro, he I'm has reading it. Dude, he I'm tells us off chat when we go off on tangents. Yo, Rexy, himself, don't bro. get salty, bro, because you're talking about space mushrooms and shit. All right, give me a second. Uh, okay, so rather than remove it, we'd like to propose some changes that will make it viable in many situations while still providing room for other range items to take the spotlight. All right, so uh, here's the stats, right? And uh, before I even talk about the stats, just realize that darts changes the overall stats of the blowpipe, all right? So this is just the stats of the blowpipe on charge, no darts involved, all right? So first thing to notice is range strength. It used to be, f it is 40, 
but they want to tone it down to 25, <laughs> right? Oh, man. So 15 okay. range strength, if I were to guess, I think that's... It's, it could be really off, but I think it's a decent guess. So it's it's probably like three damage. Probably. I think this is probably like a three damage difference right off the bat. All right. And I'm so glad now that when they say attack rate of three, they actually put accurate. <laughs> so now we understand like, oh, oh, so not rapid, you know, right? I, I wish they, they knew about this when they released this shit. The, uh, the high attack speed definitely contributes, but the real benefit lies with the accuracy. So they're going to change how some of the darts work, right? So um, darts also comes in with accuracy and strength, so they stack with the blowpipe, but they're nerfing some of it. So um, here we go. Accuracy for all the darts across the board is going down. Uh, the most relevant ones are going to be, you know, Mithril and uh, yeah. Two Dragon. All of those are getting, uh, basically, Mithril's one less, Addy's one less, Rune's one less, Dragon's two less. No, 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 no. You have to look at the new. Oh accuracy. shit! My bad. Sorry, sorry. Wrong thing. Uh, everything is basically changing by. Oh wow, Rune's Mithril is two. Addy is yeah. Addy is uh, actually four, Addy and Rune's crazy. four, Dragon's four. So um, it's four accuracy so... difference, but. Really though, four isn't that crazy, yeah. actually, because uh, the blowpipe accuracy is getting uh, actually dunked this on. This seems like more. a slaughter on the blowpipe. So though. wait, I'm, dude, I'm if, I can, more, if right. I can simplify this real yeah. quick on the chart just down below, Ree. Yeah. So taking out the range accuracy nerf and all of those changes that have it, just based off of that table down below, effectively what it does is it means that the dragon darts what are out right now will be the equivalent. Uh, post nerf to rune darts right now rune darts will be the equivalent to adamant darts right now yeah and oh, darts actually, will that's be the equivalent to, to just slightly worse than mithril darts yeah, right now that's a good way to okay? put it that, that's um, just that table alone that's not including the nerfs on the range accuracy yeah sorry uh also i forgot to mention the the actual weapon of the blowpipe uh went down by 30 accuracy wise so that's instead of 60 yeah. attack it's 30 attack accuracy that's a lot Huh. Yeah, which is quite a beefy amount, you know, because they, they, they both dip down on the strength and on the accuracy quite a bit. All right. But don't look at this face value because you also have to realize that all these numbers contribute to one thing at the end of the day, which is DPS. So just because accuracy went down by 50% on this weapon does not mean DPS went down by 50%. I've seen a lot of people misunderstand this when they read this the first time and they're telling me, I can't believe they're doing this. Blowpipe 50% less DPS. And I have to tell them, Filthy it's actually brains, not 50% less DPS because that's just accuracy. Accuracy is just a factor that contributes to DPS. And it's not, uh, it's not DPS. Accuracy is like the difference now is like so, a little bit more than three range of boots, basically. Like the accuracy we get from the boots. Yeah. So, right? so just keep in mind, it's not a 50% DPS increase. The thing yeah. that actually matters, all right? But I'll tell How you about the DPS stuff uh, after this. So... So uh, just in summary, they lowered the attack accuracy, they lowered the range strength of the blowpipe all itself, and for darts, they've also uh, s similarly did the same except on a much lesser scale. So dragon darts uh, went from, for example, 20 strength to, actually still the same, but accuracy went down by 3. And whereas, yeah, uh, yeah whereas the uh, the, uh, the weaker darts, they, they actually uh, got lower strength, but like nobody really uses black and bronze, so we don't worry about that for the most part. So for the most part, the relevant darts are of the same strength, just accuracy went down a, lit, a bit. Just as Rexy described, dragon darts is uh, would be rune darts, basically, after the update. Yeah. Which is still pretty good. Now, in, in terms of accuracy, not in how much you hit, because the strength mm -hmm. of dragon darts is still the same. Well, the, the blowpipe, though, has built-in strength, and that went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so so right. that means overall strength will go down as yeah. well. Has anybody done an actual, like, Mathematical yeah. yeah, they have. They I'm have. Sure I wish, has. I, wish I had the link. I need to know that information. Yeah, I wish I had the link to give you. But basically, though, um, you can, tr you can. Tr I trust the people that told me because, like, these guys are, you know, they they look at this stuff all the time. But essentially, in for example, theater of blood, the DPS difference from today's blowpipe to to uh, you know, blowpipe after the change, if these numbers are kept. Comparing rune darts, it's about fifteen percent DPS difference. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And 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 TOB is a decent comparison for a lot of other content because TOB bosses aren't extremely tanky, but they also aren't like extremely you know uh, like spongy either, right? They they do have moderate to low defense. Some like Zarpis, Star Beast, they have you know decent defense. Whereas Maiden and Bloat have like low defense and Nilo. So yeah, it's like it's a it's about a fifteen percent difference with rune darts. 
So, hmm. yeah. And and then in some other places that are tankier, it's about like twenty percent with rune darts. So, well, that's a hell of a change, man. Yeah, it's fifteen to twenty percent on most situations. But you know it's crazy because even after that change, stuff like uh you know crossbows and you know MSBs they're still trash. Crystal bows are still trash compared to the blowpipe. Like the blowpipe is easily over fifty percent more DPS than all those weapons in a lot of places. Oh, so it's a well needed change. So it does, so even if you nerf it by twenty percent, the blowpipe still has a a big edge over most of these weapons. Yeah. Yeah, it looked, uh, of course, it looked like it was getting though. massackered, but now that now that I realize it, a twenty percent. Yeah, dip is because this is the bad. one thing that I've noticed people saying: the moment they saw sixty accuracy at thirty, they're like fifty percent DPS increase. No, 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 no! Please, please, that's not how it works. That's not how yep. it is. That's you know, because accuracy, you can have all the accuracy in the world, but if your range strength is zero, you're not doing shit. You're not doing DPS, right? So, so just just remember that, boys. I still think it's significant though. Fifteen, twenty percent is pretty massive, right? Oh yeah. That's like killing something twenty percent slower, right, than what you used to. So I wish they would have so, done this way, way before, though. Same. You know? What do you yeah, guys think? Dude, though? I, I, I heard. I don't know how credible this is, but apparently they wanted to do this back in two thousand and seventeen, but for some reason they didn't do it. So you're looking at something that should have been done like four years ago. Yeah, but five years if ago. If we even. can, <laughs> if we can talk about trying to understand why they're making this change i i think that would give a lot more context to people because from my general understanding of looking at these updates and reading and i know you skipped over the bit about the crystal bow because you dislike it well no but, it's just like a pointless one it wouldn't change anything okay that's why but basically and correct me if i'm wrong i want to know what you guys think the way i look at this is they're effectively trying to change the meta of how bosses are killed whether that be old or new so effectively instead of when a new boss comes out the bet that your blowpipe if it's weak by range at all you're either going to kill it with a blowpipe or, or you're going to kill it with a tebow they're trying to add more diversity into that so yeah. if you've got a boss that has really high defense the blowpipe isn't going to be good on it anymore it might be better for you to take a crystal bow and full crystal armor or it might be better for you to take an armor or crossbow and full armor they're trying to like diver diversify the meta so it's not just a, a blowpipe meta which to be quite honest the blowpipe is so good at this point in the game it definitely does deserve a nerf but whether it deserves to be nerfed is hard or not that's debatable but like i'm kind of on board with the full process of what they're going for there like they're just trying to diversify how things are killed in the game whether that be new or old content and i, they, I think yeah, that's yeah. good i i think that changes things up it means that things aren't the same it's like you know there's so many bosses that you can kill with a blowpipe at this point everybody's so familiar with it what what if every other boss you had to kill with an armadillo crossbow or a crystal bow and you had to be skilled in like knowing when your ticks are going to go off and like stuff like that I, I just think it gives a lot more variety and i i understand why they're doing this i i think the thing up for debate is how much they plan to nerf actually it. um so uh there's actually a part two to this because they've already because this was out yesterday right and they got feedback so uh we're gonna look into part two when we're done with this one so okay. after you guys are done okay. with your thoughts but i i I think I uh, I agree because if, if they release a new boss and it's weak and range is good against the boss, it's always blowpipe. So it, yep. it's gonna be nice to see a boss come out and people experiment with like range weapons and see like what what's best. I think that's I kind of. I want to see a dark bow. I want to see dark Yeah, like a dark yeah. for a boss or something. Man. Just like in trilogy. Like, <laughs> dude, if I can, there there is one boss in RuneScape that I love killing, and do you know what that boss is? Cerberus. Do you, oh. do you know why I like killing Cerberus? Because it is the only PVM scenario where dragon knives are even fucking given any chance. You can use dragon knives when you get your spectre on. You can use the spec weapon. I wish I had you Do one. a bit of DPS and you save prayer. It, it, it's genuinely like a brush. Uh, 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 a brush. A <laughs> Yo, I, I do that too sometimes. Yeah. Okay. It, it's fun doing that. Whenever I get a Cerberus task, I'm excited to buy dragon knives. I'm like, I get to use these awesome weapons and I don't PK with them. So when do you get to use it so I, I, get I think spectral. that's nice having I, like you know you don't want to be doing the same thing all the time man like i think people just get so stuck in their own ways and, and, and also like change and stuff but and, and, I, I think it's good i i actually do and also you have to think about the price tag you're basically getting the strongest weapon for three mil yeah yep. 
if a PVMer needs one in their arsenal, like if you don't have, if you're a PVMer and you don't have a yeah, a, a let me let me pipe, also let doing? me debunk a few things that I've I've uh, had to go over a few times with people lot, yesterday when I was talking to them. A lot of people were saying, well, that's only because bonds exist. Uh, let me tell you guys, when when Zora came out the first week, blowpipe was already under twenty mil, and I was selling them for under twenty mil. So trust me, it, bots or not, the blowpipe was spanking cheap. A one in five hundred drop on a boss that most a lot of people can do and in under three minutes. Trust me, it's it's not it's never gonna be five hundred mil. It's not nowhere near gonna be a T bow. At least the T bow, as busted as it is, is like one bill, right? So whereas the blowpipe, it's almost as busted, or or honestly equally as busted. It's three mil, and even exactly. if it was twenty mil, thirty mil, fifty mil, it's still. That's that's still you know a drop in the pond, dude. It's nothing, you know. I mean, in so. hindsight, something like in in real hindsight now, it couldn't be done at this point because there's too many too late, toxic yeah. blowpipes in the game. Yeah. But a way they could have introduced it is imagine if they made the toxic Race blowpipe <laughs> like one in fucking ten or fifteen k, the same as the mutagens. So and, uh, it literally was on par with the rarity of like a Tebow. It'd be like, hey, you know, this is super rare it should be worth a lot of money and it's super powerful but unfortunately that's just not what we have and yeah. something does need to be done you know and I, also I, i'd like to i'd like to know specifically from jagex i don't know if you guys know like if there was a particular reason why this is happening oh yeah like, is there um, a, a certain activity that's being abused with blowpipes or no, is there too not much really game so money so, comes to the game or so from a critical point of view it's it's to do with updates again it's due to the fact that Blowpipe basically cock cock blocks a lot of updates. Cause like if you want a new range weapon, you kind of can't have it because then you have to compete with the Blowpipe, which you kind of can't. Yeah. And if you want new range armor, you can't really have it because if you bring new range armor, guess what? The Blowpipe gets stronger than it already is. Yeah. And then you can't. So so that's yeah. what that's the problem. And and also if you're trying to make new bosses, because Blowpipe's usually the highest DPS, the reticle weapon. Even melee and, and magic and stuff, they get cocked as well, because you got you have to compete with the blowpipe again, and and a lot yeah. of designs are basically restricted around blowpipe because it's so fast and it's generally accurate enough for most things that you just can't really uh, outclass it a lot of times. So I, by, I get that, and I, but, it, it's yeah. amazing that the Tebow actually fits and has a place in the game where it can be better than using the blowpipe considering how the blowpipe basically just hits all corner of the meta yeah like you're right and going back to the meta and you know the tiers of these weapons this is just a cut and close case of they're trying to make gaps where there can be new releases exactly like that that's, that, that's something intent. yeah that, that's something people should bear in mind. It's like, you know, whether this is going to make it significantly harder for you to get a fire cape or an infernal cape, it also opens up the possibility of there being something else that could be in to, the place. To make up for it. Because think about this way, right? If you lose 20% of your DPS from your blowpipe, that means you can get enough updates to fill up that gap, essentially. Which will last yeah. several, could last two years. That, that's like two years right there, easily. It, it, what what does Verf and Mint think about this, by the way? We spoke a lot about it, Ray. Mm -hmm. The blowpipe in general? I think yeah. it's... I think it's the way, like, 20%, 15%, I think it's okay. Because blowpipe is so good right now, like, if it even if it becomes a bit worse, it's still gonna be good. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's the funny thing. People, like, it? people like... complaining about Inferno, for example. The only... Like, because I... Like, because I've done a lot of Inferno, if I think about it... I would say I would say people are probably worried about more like mostly healers because that's where blow up is like really important. But even if it's fifteen percent worse, it's still gonna be really good there. Yeah, on so, on healers uh, it would be like fifteen percent because healers yeah, have it's no like, defense. Right, but you still have the specials. It's still the same speed. You can still do the the, the shield walking yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I don't and, know. And I, don't, I don't think here's it's another thing I'll issue. tell a lot of you guys that are that are concerned that you can't do content anymore. Trust me. Uh, a, a nerfed blowpipe is not the difference between you getting the cape. A nerfed blowpipe no, is the no, no, difference no. between you maybe having to do one more attempt to do to yeah. get the cape. That's that's really what you know that what is. what what I I think if they made let's say the blowpipe one tick slower that would be an issue. Oh god, that would be, be, be so be terrible, man. That would be an issue. Oh my god, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh my god, so, so I don't mind it too much. You, I mean, you would have to probably take 
like rune knives into the inferno or dragon knives which i guess would be okay but like it, it would just mess a lot of stuff oh up. god just, just the timing the timing disgusting. would be so weird and stuff yeah. like yeah no mm. yeah. <laughs> Yo, what and it would lose bad cow? a three tick speed would change the dps way more than 20 percent. i'll tell you that yeah, yeah, yeah for I, sure. i'm just glad that they're fixing the bulwark that's all I'm saying. Yeah, he doesn't care about anything else. Man keeps still talking about the bull. I love it. Mint's livelihood is now restored. He's like, yes. Dude, are you gonna be? Are you gonna be sad when you PK a toxic blowpipe and it's like 50k? No, no. I love seeing it on the floor. I'll, I'm gonna grab it every time. It could be 5k. I'm gonna grab it. Mint is like, I can finally PK at the kill at the, at the altar again. The wilderness altar. Oh. I can freeze bitches and uh, actually get them stuck. Black if if I think board. about the bulwark, I think about that altar and everyone in Red yep. Train's prayer has that thing on. <laughs> I know, yeah. damn. I have to camp for a mage now on new accounts. The, the thing about the uh, blowpipe, when you actually just think about the item itself and how powerful it is. It's such a weapon, dude. It, it's, it's like it's got weapon. stupid. It's, it's got stupid attack speed. It can hit super high. It can venom your opponent. It heals you. Well. you. Dude, it, it, yeah, it has a built-in SGS. It has spec an even that attack doesn't give you speed. Bonus. It has an like, even like attack. It's, it, it's got fucking everything. It, it, it's like the <laughs> best range weapon on the best. It has good dragging ability. In science lab. Yeah. Like it, it's insane. You know, and that stuff's not being taken away from it. If they mess with the attack speed yeah, only, and spec, you know. They're only messing with the damage output, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is good. You guys but, really um, like but hey, speed. hey, we're not done yet because there's a part two. <laughs> oh, no. I haven't read this. I haven't read this, so it's a surprise five? for me. It's a surprise for me uh, as to what they're... Uh... By the way, if you want to get all this information, you can go on oldschool.runescape.com. It has everything <clears> you need to know. And yeah. we're also, not sponsored. For the for the people watching, uh, if you have any opinions or thoughts on any of what we've said, if you agree or disagree, also suggest us some titles. Suggest us some clickbait titles, dude, because uh, we're, we're, we're our clickbait game has been rather weak. I feel like <laughs> in this uh, channel. So yeah, they made a new post today. Uh, it's called "Equipment Rebalancing: Next Steps." I'm surprised that it came out already, dude. Like straight up. They really care. Yeah, I, 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 I see that. I see that pure, pure fiction. I'm like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a that's that's an insider meme for all the Karamjian fans. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Karamjian, yeah, Karamjian fans. Oh, shit, I was gonna say something that was pretty relevant. Oh yeah, so um, you know, you know, I was telling people, hey, like, let let me get back to this old one real quick. You know, you know, this change here with the blowpipe. I feel like they're giving you the the craziest option. Because they're trying to bargain, right? I think this is this was a bargaining strategy all along. They they were gonna give it to us in the in the most uh, severe nerfed version possible, so that way we can negotiate with them and find something maybe a little bit more even. Because I feel like twenty percent might be a bit out there, so maybe like getting it down to like fifteen percent max DPS difference from old to new would be better or something. And that and that's what I'm thinking of is that that was their strategy. They're waiting for people to get shocked. Give you know, put them in a slightly vulnerable state, and they have to beg, in a sense, to. Um, have you seen what's going on in the world? Yeah, yeah, and I know, but it's working though. It's wor it's working. Because look at this, they already they're already doing it. They're already telling you, look, we look, we took your feedback, and here's what's up, right? So, anybody want to read this, man? I kind of don't want to read. <laughs> Uh, well, we don't have to read the top here. Just scroll down. Dude, I, I can I can blast through it. All right, up? blast through it, Rexy. I'm going to blast through it, man. Right, yeah. You've already read, man. It's right. my turn. But you can start at the, the second half. Like, if you scroll uh, down, it says, you, here's you, what we're you, doing man, about listen, it. If you want to read it, you read it. Uh, so okay. it says, what are we doing about all this? Start from there, because I think that's where it starts. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to spend the next few days continuing to collate your feedback in preparation for the revised That's blog earlier next week. We're hopeful that this will be ready for you on Tuesday, the 26th of Jan. We'll open beta worlds for testing. That is oh, fucking okay. awesome. I love that, dude. All right. That's that's the first time I've heard that. That's really good. People have been asking for that for the longest of times to test out anything they're planning on bringing into the game or changing in this case. Changing, I think for this case, it'd be for things that already exist and they're letting you try yep. it out. Awesome. Dude, I love that. I, I think that's really good. Well done, Jagex. Good shit. Alongside the weekly game update on Wednesday the 27th, uh, its primary focus will be to test the toxic blowpipe and gather more focused feedback around the proposed changes. Tuesday blog will go into more detail about some of the changes that will be live in the beta. 
If the beta shows the further changes are required, we'll continue to ask and work closely with the community to gather feedback and then come back to you with our finding. Uh, that is it from us on the subject of the rebalance for this week. We'd like to, once again to thank you all who have taken the time to give us feedback and we hope you'll continue working with us uh, to find the best outcome for the game. We're not taking any of your responses lightly. Keep the conversation flowing this weekend and we'll catch up with you next week. Good shit. Brilliant. That's it actually good, man. The top, I lied. I'm sorry. They, 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 those little uh, bullets. That, hey, that, that's your. You take Are it. Are you man. sure? You, My bad. You, I, you, I, you <laughs> take it. Go no, on. Next you time, y'all read, read it. I'll read up the top. So if you scroll up a little bit, Rice, they did. Mate, go, usually, none of us want to read what's happening. Yeah, well, usually no, you guys no, don't want to read what's happening. I want to read the whole top paragraph. Rick, I um, can't read. I blame Rick, so you not want to read. Why don't we have Verf read it, man? Verf, you want to read? Poor mm, Verf. No. <laughs> right, Mitt, you read no, no. <laughs> I don't, don't want to get weird. Uh, so scroll down a bit. I'm just going to read the bullet points. Here's what they changed. The majority of players feel that the changes to the toxic blowpipe are too harsh and will you. make current content too difficult. Current content, content too difficult. Yeah. Furthermore, they will feel that the recently introduced content has been balanced or around the expectation of players using the existing blowpipe. If you're okay, so I guess that's not possibly happening. I don't know. There are concerns over why we're only now deciding to change equipment that's been in the game for too many years. Well, better late than never, though. Um, uh, particular attention to the black dragon hide armor reduction stats and how they change would impact items such as blessed dragon hide armor. I guess that's a really big that's problem. That's a question that I've wanted the answer to, actually. What does it say? It should be the same stats reduction. Yeah, it's, it's just fucking put a prayer bonus on the the reduced armor i mean what the fuck you feel that the proposed changes to the bulwark will make it less powerful and that's such a big shield it should retain high defensive capabilities except we're in the wilderness come on man don't go back on that one there is confusion over why the toxic blowpipe is such a focus for the nerves yeah items such as the twisted bow and scythe have been changed well those are very hardly been changed though. yeah exactly yeah. they're way more expensive though yeah and then uh Players don't like the Nezzy face guard uh, change. It will render it obsolete, and that it doesn't say it should be reduced in strength. Which I guess I agree on that one, but not a big thing. Um, so yeah, it looks like they are responding to a lot of feedback already, and they better change that fucking. Yo, I'm telling you, man, that was their strat to give you the harshest so, possible nerf so that we can talk. So we can it negotiate. It's so that's mean it. if they don't actually do that to the bulwark. It's so. Mean. <laughs> I know <laughs> Mint's <laughs> livelihood's like on this shit. They're like, oh guys, please. Actually, we could have a bulwark commentary. <laughs> but yeah. Better yeah. Shit, do do we do we wish to continue talking about the other stuff? Because I feel like um, we adequately talked about this. This. Uh, yeah, I'm this. okay with that. I think we're. I think we covered it really well. Uh, again, if anyone watching has any opinions on this, whether you agree or disagree, let us know. Yeah. All right, and like we, uh, the video, of course. Subscribe to yeah, our Patreon. Like video, give fans. us, yeah, like Verf video. is our special promo for February, boys. It's gonna get very spicy up on that OnlyFans, yeah. man. I'm telling you. Yeah, hook us up with suggestions, yeah, yeah. shirtless suggestions, <laughs> and uh, titles. You know, I'm thinking along the lines of something like the biggest change in old school history, <laughs> or like the I, ELC of old school. Nah, something Runescape <laughs> destroys something along those lines. Blowpipe. Players are mad. We, 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 we could literally clickbait it with like an outrageous thread that we see on, on yeah. Reddit or something. I don't know. Nah, we don't need the Reddit for that one. I feel like... Just, just Dude, give I us some saw, good titles, I, boys. And, and I saw a post why. on Reddit that someone posted on Twitter. And it basically went along the lines of this. It said that if they're going to make it harder for us to get Infernal Capes now, then it's only <laughs> fair that everybody who's got a oh, Infernal I don't Cape mind. with the Perino blowpipe should have mind, theirs man. removed. <laughs> Oh, I saw Agreed. That. Agreed. I don't Let's mind, dude. No, 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 free, no, free YouTube no, content for me, boys. I feel like <laughs> the people that listen, know listen, to, 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 the, to, the, to the guy that writ that uh, for the shits and giggles when this nerf comes in, I might just get I'll a second fucking infernal cape. I'll Fuck do it, it. Again, dude. Yeah. I'll do it again, and then you can stop crying. Trust about me, it. trust me. It, it's not the difference between you getting the cape or not, bro. That that's like, just. Let me tell you, if you know how to get it. The change will not... Uh, yeah. You can still get it easily. Trust so. me. People that have done Inferno Capes first time in, in Trailblazer, yeah. they, they could they could get the capes in the main game. Dude, like, it's super easy. I mean, I would yeah. know. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying, look, if you put in the time and, and you do it regardless of how you, how you did it other than buying the cape, you will have a good shot at getting it regardless. So just believe in yourself, man. You know, don't, don't use excuses. Believe in yourself. Seriously. All right, so uh, should we move we... on? 
to the next yeah, place? Yeah, I got 20, I got like 10 minutes. Uh, I mean, we can blast through some stuff if y'all want. Okay. Yeah, I, I probably got about the same. So yeah. Okay, um, we can up. quickly talk about... So here are uh, some of the things that we missed while we were gone. Yeah, let me open after up some links. Before or after Trailblazers. So there's a couple things. Yeah, uh -oh. I'm trying to find the links. All right, so uh, let's talk about... Steam? Is that what we're starting out with? Man, uh, hold all right, yo, talk about your space stuff real quick. I need to find some links, boys. <laughs> okay, yo, so, Rakesy, about those asteroids, man. There's actually one that's uh, two times the distance of the moon from us right now. That's their first shot they're thinking about. It's just hovering. Okay. How long would that take to get there in days? How long did it take to get to the moon? Was it, like, three days? I think it was two days. Two days? Two days, so... Six but did days? we even go to the moon? Yo, we... So. Yo, what's up with this? <laughs> big, big change was the Godward Dungeon instance. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can talk about that. You can talk about that right now if you wish. Right now. I mean, I haven't used it yet, but I, I think... You like space? <laughs> huh? What did you say? You like space? Space? Yeah, dude. Of course. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, brother. Fuck yeah. What's your favorite thing dude, about look space? at the size of his apartment. He loves space, He dude. loves the space. <laughs> right? He's got all of the space over there. <laughs> This man's got too much just, space I, up I, there, man. Space, I think, like, if you think about it in general, like, uh, if you actually, like, dig into it and, and realize how big everything is, it, like, blow, it blows my mind. Like, that's, like, the thing about what... Well, yeah, we're like a speck of sand, boys. So, because... Like, yeah, exactly. it, that, that's, like, the most crazy thing to me. Like, it's so freaking huge. And there's, like, there's, like, planets probably out there with, like stuff we have we will never discover like it's just, just... Bro. yeah i got I, I i've got a theory which i thought i was like becoming some sort of tim full hat crazy fucker oh, until i, I heard there not? was actually a there was actually a scientific theory that is out there basically saying that the span that life has been on earth okay in that time would it have been possible for intelligent life to have spawned way before us because apparently it's something like every don't quote me i think it's like every six million years or something like the earth just gets annihilated by something whether that be floods volcanoes asteroids meteors whatever yeah, and so, maybe even sooner than that dude i always had man i always had this thing in me like this is like a sci-fi plot okay? i don't believe it i'll i'll start this with saying i don't believe it but it'd be fucking cool right <laughs> so imagine if there were before us, before humans, there were more technological beings that were on this planet that we just don't know about because it got wiped out. Tectonic plates do remove shit over time, especially over like certain thousands I mean, of years. We're pretty good at digging, like, man. Bro, you know? wait, wait. If if we got wiped out, yeah, say we just got destroyed, the whole human race, there would be nothing to show for the human race after like X amount of thousands of years. So there's no saying that didn't happen before. And I always had this crazy thought. I was like, imagine if there was a civilization that lived on earth that was so advanced they realized that and they were in the same position as us and they said fuck it we gotta get off this rock and so what they did is they hopped off our planet they fucking harvest all of the shit that's on mars all of the planets around us that are solids <laughs> that's why they're so barren yeah, that'd be a there's good, nothing that'd there be a good because anime. they they suck the resources <laughs> off and now they're fucking out in space I would maybe watch one day no, because back. like see the only reason it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be true is because th there would be some sort of evidence left behind right maybe but, there but, is no, but, that, but dude, that, that's well, the thing dude but I'm if you surprised actually that we look haven't into found this, anything you know may i swear to god if you, bones. <laughs> if you look into this Was man that a ruse? It, it's like if we were to get wiped off of the earth with all of the stuff that humans Yo, have on this planet boys. after so many thousands of years there would literally be uh, apart from like skeletons and shit there would be no other would there nothing. be would there be stuff floating though, what if, what if dinosaurs what, what if it was the dinosaurs Dude, who knows yeah. we don't know what happens uh, shall we talk about some god like, wars this, this is people? actually a theory that people speak about and i fuck it, I'm, Dude, that, I'm would like like, it man. that would be like people before dinosaurs then I mean, or it could be between that, possibly, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, be we gotta yeah, find so much evidence. The fossils first, would have been found yeah. otherwise. Yeah, right. You're completely yeah, right. It doesn't have to be yeah. millions of years. It could be thousands of years, right? Yeah, we, we, we also have find some evidence. Twenty thousand, hundred thousand years. So, when, when I say that there'd be no evidence of us living, uh, I think I'm, I'm talking specifically like the buildings we have, and like man-made stuff, like that shit, just sort of. It, it's I mean, but you still see time. some evidence, though. There like, is man-made stuff all yeah. over, though. 
from yeah, Pat. but they don't they don't yeah, really look they're, technologically they're wrong, but, uh, dude, advanced like, though. You know, so, some of the oldest stuff that we have that is man made. I, I don't know the oldest thing, but like go to Rome. Like you're looking yeah, like they look, years yeah, they old. look okay, but they don't look like they'd be enough to fly across the. You know, no, I'm not. Times, I'm not yeah. talking about the Romans. We know about. We know enough yeah. about the Romans. Okay, I, I'm just trying to what make the point. The also, something the to bear in mind. I know we say like fossils. Like there's fossils of this. Right, there's yo, fossils of that. We, we do do to, you uh, realize the circumstances for something to be fossilized? If you were to be buried on the ground right now, they're probably not going to find you as a fossil in like you know a hundred thousand years okay the, the, like the circumstances years, to become fossilized are very specific and incredibly rare to actually happen hmm. very yeah. fucking rare okay now just as rare as this think, Star Wars think update, about boys. it well, why do you think <laughs> why do you think there's nothing on mars why is there no mortal boys it's because you know yeah. the humans before us we the demand first humans, like, a space else. podcast too in a nest they took podcast. it all man they harvest it they're, they're out in space somewhere you know maybe one day they'll come back and they'll visit their home relic. All right? Yeah, and maybe dude. they'll harvest us. Maybe, maybe. they haven't already. Yeah. Anyways, all right. So uh, like, as Fair mentioned... That people talk about. It's cool, man. As, as first mentioned, uh, God Wars dungeon updates are happening. Uh, they did a round one where they split up God Wars into two rooms, one for Iron Man and one for uh, main accounts, just like Corp. So that way, we can't see each other. We, we can't... Well, that's a bit of a smaller update. Shouldn't we just get into the bigger... Yeah, but that's it. That's problem. literally all I wanted to say about that update. Okay. Alright, boys. Uh, let's Steam. talk about Steam. Yeah, Steam. Cool news. Get your ass away from the mic when you vape. Yo, what's wrong with you? Yo, me, hey, it's like ASMR for the vapors <laughs> that watch the chat. Hey, yeah, oh, if any of you guys watch the, the, watch the podcast and vape, this is the DJ part these, of the podcast. I bet, they like you. I bet these guys are like this guy's got a clean, fresh coil inside his vape. Oh, okay. Is that the Nord? <laughs> is that the Nord smoke? Oh, yes, Alright, anyway, Steam oh, yes, boys. Steam don't got vape, so let's let's talk about Steam. So yeah, they are. Uh, I, has it happened yet? I know for R three, they already integrated uh, into Steam. But I don't for, think not for, for old school. school. Yeah, I think old school no. this year, early this year, they are planning on uh, integrating old school with Steam. So if you're a Steam boy or your friends got Steam, I know your friends got Steam. Just tell them like, hey, uh, Runescape been the Steam now, you know. I mean, there's out. gonna be a bigger. Play your cap in the future because more people can find Runescape. Yeah, just time. just like old school mobile, I, I'd say. Yeah, yep. that's Maybe good. Yeah, at a similar I'm, level. Dude, I, I think the one concern I have for this is I'm assuming the Steam client is going to be the same as the vanilla client. Oh, God. They better and download Rune Light. <laughs> pe pe people might discover the game through Steam, but whether they're going to play it through Steam is another thing. Uh, that's so okay. We'll more casual that. players to watch YouTube videos and be mystified yeah. by how good we are at the game. Even though it's Man, just I'm, I'm literally, I'm gonna, dude. I am gonna straight up make like ten rune light tutorials right now, and they're instantly gonna get like a million views each. No, Steam Easy. user's guide to old school RuneScape. <laughs> Easy clap. Uh, Easy. Anything probably else abused. you want to talk about this? Any, any <laughs> other? Uh, well, Steam, uh, you had the fishing boss, right? Yeah, uh, is this it? We we cover boss. this. <laughs> that was pretty much it. Um. Yeah, we can talk about the fishing boss. Soul Wars just came out. Yeah, but Soul Wars is just basically pet hunt wars. All the all the There's sweaty boys are hunting. Soul Wars, and then when it came out, I guess it's not. Is it active right now? It's a active with pet hunters mostly. Okay, so it's just people hunting for the new Soul Wars pet. Yeah, the ones that yeah. predominantly play. Yeah, they just want the pet to complete. And then their the fishing boss um, coming out soon. <laughs> I've not done it. So in the just... desert, well, it's not out yet. It's in, it's gonna be in the desert uh, okay. right here been, next to the pyramid been. for DT desert treasure there's gonna be a dock in the desert of yeah the sea spirit dock you know because oh, you're gonna cool. fight this you're gonna fight this fish boss okay i'm assuming there's gonna be a pet for this as well so I like expect pet hunters to be there. Though. Fish, uh, fishing tilt right yeah fishing tot i think it's gonna be similar <laughs> to winter tot in the sense that it's scaling based mini game all right i still okay. think it's funny that they call winter Thought a boss yeah, I know it's weird. I'm assuming it's gonna be a boss. Considered. They got the fire making in the ice lands, and then they got the fishing in the desert lands. Ooh, yeah, no, the irony, the the ironic kind of things going on. Also, man. first desert yeah. update in a while, like actual new content in the desert. Well, I don't like the desert, so they don't really. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I, just <laughs> I don't think anyone 3. does. I just want raids to be in the desert. You know, Tomb Raiders type of shiz. That'd be fun. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Pharaohs and all that. Oh, baby. Yeah, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards would be cool, too. You know? Some... Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, because, you know, Pharaoh and shit, you know? And, and any Yu-Gi-Oh fans. That'd be cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, they don't have to do that. That'd be, I, that'd be hilarious. Honestly, though, uh, talking about the desert, I would love... Like, the desert needs some love, man. Honestly. Oh, absolutely. A little bit right now. My prediction is that Rage 3 will be in the desert. Everybody's prediction. Right? Yeah. 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 Really. yeah. But that, that will be so cool because the desert will be more relevant. I feel like the desert needs just more stuff, so that will be yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, in this blog, uh, they dude. talk about the different uh, attacks that this uh, minigame has. Lightning attack, I think an alternative, attacks intensity. An alternative to Two desert phases. is imagine if they did, like, they've done a lot for Tazar and Karamja. Imagine mm. if they made, like, an Inferno raid or something like that. Ooh. That could be cool. Would it be in Karamja? Yeah, it would be. Like, I guess next to the um, where you get yourself the Inferno. Game. Yeah, and then you fight like Zuck's siblings. It would just be a second uh, a volcano. Yeah, and then and you maybe, find out Zuck's uh, just a kid. Yo, yo, I can do Karamja only season two, baby. Yeah. Yeah, dude, how Ooh. sick would that be, man? And then, I, I, it, it would be a cool concept. Yeah, and then yeah. you find out Zuck is just not the dad, but he's the kid. <laughs> and then you have to fight the whole like family, the Zuck family. They, they are thinking about Inferno <laughs> hot mode, so. Yeah, but that but it's only six chance. That's literally it. No, okay. no, no, Unless no, no. They, they, they make something else. They want to make like uh, Inferno hard mode, not not six chance. That's that's just something else, like an actual hard mode Inferno. Yo, my Inferno came better like float. That's <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, like, trim, uh, trimmed in okay, for something. Yeah, with the know. Nerf blowpipe, man, just to show off, Kappa. Uh, all right so um rewards yeah we're gonna let's just talk about the rewards i don't think people care too much about the me me mechanics because for the fishing boss they are trying to release some interesting stuff so um we got what pull the breeze who wants to read for uh, the rewards real quick i'm uh, sure what, what am i reading where am i reading right here right right there the most the important is gonna be cold oh, sorry yep who's reading i was gonna read okay um Rewards can be collected from the pool of debris that is left at the end of the encounter. Uh, kind of like um, a wintertime crate. That's kind of cool. Mm. There will always contain some resources, but of course, should you prevail and su successfully subdue Temporos, you will receive resources and earn a chance of gaining unique rewards. Here's the unique rewards. Candy corn? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Spirit flakes? Really <laughs> shitty cereal? I don't Yeah, it's not, it looks tasty. Nemo cereal. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little like Nemo. Spirit oh, oh. flake or fish food infused with energy of Temporas. It's I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, there, these are an untradeable resource that, when automatically consumed while fishing, provide a 50% chance of catching an extra fish. For no it's addition. It's like well, when you fish and you catch more fish. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Um. So is that the reward or one of the That's rewards? it, man. You just no, get fish bait. That's it, and you get fish bait. Uh, the fish barrel can <laughs> store a total of 28 raw fish. Oh, that's kind of cool. It can store multiple species simultaneously, like a herb uh, sack. Herb, herb sack. Yeah, it's a fish sack. Mm -hmm. Fish can only be removed from the barrel at a bank, similar to a looting bag. It would be possible to combine a fish barrel with the fish sack. Oh, there's already a fish sack. The latter of which can be purchased for a thousand mulch pearls. So you could have a fish. Well, no, it's, it's to make it equipable. So, so you equip a sack and a barrel? Like you yes. make it so that you can equip it. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't play that up there. Yeah, you combine them <laughs> into one thing and, th and then you can equip it. Okay, that's kind of cool. You get a tackle box. I guess this holds all the stuff in it. You can store up to 2 billion pieces of... Wait, scroll down a bit. 2 billion pieces of fishing equipment. <laughs> I like fishing that. Being in charge with variants of the Infernal and Crystal Harpoons. Okay. Yeah. It provides rods, feathers, all that stuff. It means you can bring a feather and feathers and roll in one inventory if you don't have the equipable rods, I guess. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. Pieces of angular outfits, along with other large amounts of spirit bait, can be given to an NPC to transform it into a spirit angler's outfit piece for the same slot. Hmm. So there's a new piece of armor for fishing. Damn, this update has a lot in it. Um, if you have the full... I was going to read what you have with the full there. Scroll down a little bit. 
Players fortunate to have the full spirit angler outfit will provide will find it quite useful in future endeavors with Temporis. Wearing the outfit will function as a rope <laughs> when tethering to mass and totem pieces. <laughs> so it's a rope. You, you wear the full armor and you have a rope. Um, okay. That's it. You get a rope. Uh, while fishing in the pool of debris, you may chance uh, by chance happen upon a rather spectacular aquatic specimen, a fish so fine <laughs> it would be worthy of stuffing and mounting onto a wooden board. The rare fish trophy. Okay. And then I guess the water tome didn't pass, right? Or did, but it's not strong. Yeah, I'm not sure if it passed the pool. Because this, this was old stuff, older news that we missed. Yeah, I don't think it passed. I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure the water tone didn't pass. PKs were mad about it. It Rest was going to give you like a percent barrage accuracy or something. Yeah, like longer binding rates or something. Something like that. Pretty sure it didn't It had pass. a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that was the main thing. Everything else is for skilling. Mm -hmm. Cool. Whoa, they have a challenge Can't wait. mode. <laughs> I can't wait for release. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to do a duo stream, 24 hour fishing boss stream, dude. Yeah, they're also thinking about releasing a challenge mode, apparently. A challenge mode for it? Okay. Oh, uh, right. the, really, I everything else. Y'all are yawning, man. Let's call it. Let's wrap yeah, it up, the, man. The, yeah, this thing's it. Also, here, here's a sneak peek of 2021. So, there's a lot of stuff we can talk about in depth. In the future, yeah, we'll, talk, we'll we'll cover that later. But they have a roadmap of future ideas they want to implement for this year, which is always good. Something that we could look forward to when the year comes. Mm -hmm. well, it's already here. But yeah, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, one hour and forty minutes. Uh, we good. Yeah, Bert, thanks for being on our first podcast back, man. No problem. Really <laughs> always count, Bert. Where's the clap, man? Okay, that was a big one for the boy. And Just one so. single. <laughs> one day, man. Fuck yeah, one day. Yeah. Awesome. Also, if anybody's still watching at this point, like let us know video. down in the comments. You're let awesome. us know. Let us know, and Rice Cup and Verf will personally hand deliver you a bond. What? You're still no, watching. dude. All you gotta type in the chat is Rice Bond or <laughs> Verf Bond. Let us know. Type that down in the comments. Nah, we're know scamming you. I'm sorry. Openly scamming. Listen, Rice Cup has like ten Tebos, so if he doesn't be a man of his word on this, he is. <laughs> nope. He's one of those Tebos. I'm telling you. Your bank's over to. 10 bill, right, Rice? Hmm? Your bank on your Iron Man's over 10 bill? Uh, I won't deny that. Or... <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you, but you remember, you have to like, share, subscribe. Uh, and share oh. share to your yeah, parents. That's true. Your parents need to watch this. All right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, give us a good title as well. If you, have a, boys. if you have a good title, bro, we will credit you in the next podcast. If we oh end up using God. it. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye, boys. Goodbye. All right. Yo. See you, man. Bye, bye, bye guys.